Welcome back. Every Wednesday we interview the Kenoshans of the Week in partnerships with the team at Kenosha.com. These are people in Kenosha doing great things. We're joined this afternoon by Bruce and Susie Niami. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us in studio today. Well, congratulations, Bruce, on your, your wonderful work. You know, you have done a lot of different sculptures, and I understand your work is now going to be in front of the Kenosha Civic Center. So what an honor. It is. <laughs> Kenosha has been good to me. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, it's, it's been fantastic, actually. And Milwaukee has been good to us, too. Yes. And so. I should say, yeah, you, you both are, you know, I think appreciating the art is very important. Yeah. What do you want people to glean from the latest piece, Bruce? latest transition 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 yes uh -huh. okay um my work transit it, it, it does that it, um it changes it um, grows it, it's supposed to be positive and uplifting uh th those are the things i really work on and um i've been very blessed and i like people to um oh just be happy when they look at my work sure and uh that they Come, come out of it with a better heart and mm -hmm. um, I was brought up uh, very uh, to be very positive and uplifting but I said mm -hmm. that again um, <laughs> that's okay you can't, you can't say it enough <laughs> we, yeah. we need that we really do <laughs> a, we're showing people at home video of the sculpture in front of the Civic Center nine feet tall what's it made of how do you how do you put that together and and what's your intention when you send that out into the world okay um, not, it's uh, made out of stainless steel, mm -hmm. and uh, it's um, plasma cut. Or it's you're cutting it with a, a thing that just um, either a shear or um, starts out with flat sheet, flat sheet, and then cuts it with a plasma cutter. You're or basically burning it in yes. into different yeah. pieces. So you're cutting yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. and then All he welds it, it welds it together, and then polishes and grinds it. It's 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 unbelievable that you're able to. to that, to put together mold art like this. Now, I, I know, Bruce, you, you have been diagnosed, you've retired recently, and then you've been diagnosed with a metallic disorder because uh, you've got metallic poisoning because of what you do. Yes. It's a, um, she could tell her, or tell them this, what, what it's called. Heavy metal toxicity. That's yeah. it, yes. yes. Heavy, and that's very scary, mm -hmm. you know? It is. He, the symptoms started with um, really chronic fatigue, and he, um, his memory, he has mm -hmm. trouble connecting dots, um, but he's on, been on a detox since January and it is helping. Mm -hmm. And it's probably another year and a half to really get all those metals out of his body. So, but if he continues to do his sculpture, it's gonna continue to poison his body and I'd rather have him around than sculptures. <laughs> yes. How do, the, how do the two of you work together through this? I mean, this is a couple helping yeah. each other through an ailment. What's your... What's your plan to get through this? Well, we're, um, I'm helping him do the detox and um, we pray for each other. And that really helps a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and we just love each other. We've, um, she's been the boss for the last 30, <laughs> 35. 35 years. I have one of those at home, and you're, too. And you're smart. You do what Susie says. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and, and, yeah. and actually, once this, uh, these toxins get out of your body, he should be able to function yes. normally. Yes. So that's wonderful. Yes, and he'll, and he'll find a new medium to be creative in because he is truly an artist. He can draw, he can paint, he can do many things. So um, it'll be exciting to see what his next um, medium is. Well, one of the big themes going through your work, promise and hope. Yes. Yeah. I think that's one thing you've got to hold close to you right now yes. is the promise that yes. you're going to get better and the hope that it's going to come soon. Yes. Sure. And it is. Um, like I said, I've been blessed and you can, you know, I don't know how to, um, my work is based on my faith mm -hmm. and um, it, I know that it, everything is going to happen. Be okay. okay. Well, yes. it's hopeful, yeah. it's beautiful, it's yes. inspiring. And anybody who has yeah. seen it, I saw some of the pictures in the article, and I have to say, I was extremely uplifted. So, Thank you. Uh, bless you Thank for both you. being beautiful here piece. and Thank sharing you. with Thank us you. and all of the artwork you've done, which is all over the country. So, Bruce and Susie Niemi, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Say one, one thing? <laughs> yes. The Eternal Flame War Memorial, it's in Worth, Illinois. Mm -hmm. It was the, my very first public sculpture. And oh. it honors veterans of all wars and conflicts. And uh, yep. it started my career because yeah. after yes. I, 
you know, 25 foot tall piece. From Worth to Kenosha. Yes. And we, yeah. and we need and to always think of our, yeah, Bruce, our veterans. Okay, I'll shut up. Thank no, you. that's okay. <laughs> hey, if you want to know more about Bruce's <laughs> full story and other Kenoshans of the week, Kenosha.com is the place you can read so much more about what Bruce has done for that community. Thank you both, Susie and Bruce. Now we do have live interviews every day on TMJ4 News at 4. Join us back here tomorrow for our Racine Roundup. Then on Friday, Lance Allen and Chuck Freeman of iHeartRadio will talk about high school football.